Wendy Sky of South Australia. My Aboriginality, I descend from the Bullaroodie tribe, Kingsthorpe Mountain in Queensland. It's absolutely magnificent up there. We lived up there for a while and we actually had, it was a victory. It was a victory photo. What it was, um, Shiloh had not long been diagnosed with diabetes. He wanted to know if he could still climb the mountains, you know, he wanted to know if he could still do that. At the age of three, he was very brave. So we were gonna do it. We climbed Kingsthorpe Mountain. And that was the thing, you know, that was our victory photo, getting to the top and taking this beautiful photo. And then, I'm, But he was standing on a pedestal and I had no idea. He was on a pedestal. It was on the base, it was the base of a, of a pedestal for a statue of some sort. And you can see all the carving in there and you can see where it all, into, like this section at the top where something would have locked into it. And the top of it's gone, obviously. But, you know, he's standing there and I'm like, oh, quick, get off that, quick, quick. And he's like, what, mum, what, mum? I saw this carvings, it looks like a big shell, but this is on top of a mountain. So I decided to climb over the side, which is very dangerous, but I did. And I found these little terraces going all the way around. You know, you can sort of walk around them. And some beautiful stonework all the way around there. And you can't you can't tell is it has the stones been molded into those shapes? Or were they melted into those shapes, you know? But it's a pattern for sure. And you can see beautiful, you know. And there's there's cactuses actually on top of King Salt Mountain that aren't found anywhere else in the area which is really odd. Here in this town that I'm in right now, um, in Wyala, if, you, if you're actually physically out there, there's more than one pyramid within the town itself. You've got Hummocks Hill, Mount Laura, where the stone pool is. Um, I found a big, beautiful, big stone cut pool up there. Uh, Mount Laura has got um, some beautiful stonework up there. There's some sort of an ancient structure was put on top. Um, another area here, which is a strange one, which matches up to the rest of the world, well, to the Greeks anyway, you've got Wild Dog Hill. Now, people can look this one up, it's very easy to look up, Wild Dog Hill. And it's beautiful, there's some beautiful images online that you can see of Wild Dog Hill, and you can even read the story, which is virtually the same as Romulus and Remus, the ancient Greek story of the two boys that were raised by the dog. Same story, but here. Uh, wild dog kill and when I was out there I found a beautiful piece of steel I took that to the steelworks to go and get it tested because that's what Wyala is massive big steelworks and that's what they do it's just mining all the iron out of everything anyway I got the got this piece I took it into the steelworks to get it tested um, because one they said it could be lightning that can do it uh, lightning strike can cause uh, radiation you know and it can also create a natural melting and have that you know sometimes this is what they're telling me that sometimes steel like that can happen just you know from nature from lightning strokes so he's put the you know the meter all over it he's done all these tests he's gone i can't believe it it's the purest i've ever seen i'm like really he said do you mind if i cut the end off it i said yeah not a problem so he cut the end off it because he wanted to see what was on the inside guess what was on the inside ancient slag but it, it's it's beautiful to find a piece of steel like that. I found the purest piece of steel they'd ever seen. They can't mine it. It's already been the people own that one. That's part of the conservation area. That area there, that's that's the that's the Macquarie Lighthouse area. Macquarie Lighthouse is actually um, they did an article and they discovered a, a tunnel, or so they said, a tunnel. You know, and this article was lovely, you know, and I had a good read and I thought, wow, I'm going to have a sticky beat myself because their pictures don't look right to me. And I was, I sent a photo to my friend and I said, hey, what do you think? And Danielle has gone, I think you're right, you know. I said, yeah, I could swear that's a, that's a, that's a carving with deer antlers and things there. And I swear they're, they're giraffe heads holding this, this thing up, you know, the entrance to this tomb. You know, I reckon you're right, you know, I swear. You know what I did? I contacted the university in Sydney that did that article on the Macquarie Lighthouse. And I told them that I'd found more. And I sent them, you know, emailed them and stuff. Next thing you know, I get a phone call from the archeologist. How did you find this? That's incredible. How did you do it? How did you do it? And I said, well, for starters, I actually used your imagery. I was using your images to see what I was saying, you know, which is their little, the so-called tunnel. It's actually an it's a tomb and you can still see the coffin in there. 
But it's so high up on the wall, nobody can get to it. And they can't, it's, you know, it's too hard for them to get to. It's the positioning on the wall. And then there's another area further down again, which is the little car. It looks like a little car. Because when I saw that one, I said, wow, I've seen that before. And then Shiloh's gone, mum, I think I can find it. He did an uh, image search and found it in Abydos, the temple in Abydos. And it's on that piece, it's on the ceiling. And they're those vehicles. Now we've got one of them on a wall in Sydney beautiful on a wall in Sydney you know it's a vehicle so clearly and you can see it so beautifully you know